Hello viewers, this is teacher Rajab Mishira taking you through history and government and today's lesson is effects of early agriculture in Egypt. Now remember class, the last, the previous class, we did look at what are some of the reasons that led to the development of early agriculture in Egypt and our class in today's lesson we get to look at what impacts did did, did um, early agriculture in Egypt bring, right? What are some of the effects of early agriculture in Egypt? And as always, this is a Lib TV, a station where you get to watch and learn. Welcome all. Let us get ready for our class. Now, by the end of the lesson, class, what do we expect? Good. We expect that we are, be, we are able to state the effects of early agriculture in Egypt. We'll be able to state some of those effects of early agriculture in Egypt. Let us get straight to our lesson. Now, what are some of those factors? One, we have division of labor, right? Now, people began to specialize in, uh, in specific occupations. For example, some concentrated on farming, while others made implements, and these led to the rise of uh, blacksmiths and also potters. Now, when you talk of uh, specialization, I told you that uh, we had people who could specialize in art activities or in craft activities, and these are people who also led to the development of early agriculture in Egypt. Now, we have talked of division of labor, right? We had farmers, and also we had those people who made implements. Now, another effect of early agriculture in Egypt was that there was trade, right? Now, trade emerged in people within various regions, right? And as I told you, there was enough food, right? There was enough until people could sell the excess, right? That is how trade, trade emerged. So trade emerged in people, in people within various regions. Another effect for the development of agriculture in Egypt is that it gave rise to towns like Ur, Mipur, we had Kish and Babylon. As I told you, Babylon is one of the one of the famous cities in the world, right? Is is, is a renowned city, Babylon. Good. Talk of the formal education. Now people are able to read and write. Remember, it is from this agriculture that people had the art of reading. People developed the art of writing, not forgetting arithmetic, right? Talk of uh, you have harvested like 100 sacks. How could you know that you have harvested 100 sacks? Right? That is how the, 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 the art of uh, arithmetic began in Egypt. Talk of in, in inventions. In Mesopotamia, we talked about the wheel invention. Now, in Egypt, let us look at what is this invention, uh, right, that developed in Egypt. There is um, the issue of the ox drone, plow, right? Remember this ox, uh, ox drone plow, it was not like that of Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia, it was a stick having a hook downward and the other hook looking upward, right? But in, uh, in, in, in Egypt, the plow was made out of iron. Now that we had iron smiths, good. And also, not forgetting, we had what we call the seed drill. Good class. There was also another effect. There was architecture due to advance in mathematics and science. The in inhabitants of Asia and Egypt were able to construct great building. Oh yes, talk of the pyramids in Egypt, right? Look at the ancient buildings that were made in Egypt up to now. They are there, right? I'm telling you these people had developed the art of geometry, right? The art of mathematics, the art, uh, the, the, the art of science that led to the construction of the ancient buildings and in fact they are there to now talk of the egyptian pyramids and also finally we had the development of law and government and you know as there was increased population because of enough food people had laws right people had to set up laws people had to set up regulations to guide them right now these regulations or other laws help them to avoid conflicts Right? Now, remember, they started living in settlements, right? In settlements, the population was increasing, and that is why there was a need to set up a government, right? 
that is how the issue, the, 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 the institutions of kings came about. Now, we have, we have seen a number of the factors that led, or rather the effects that, the impacts of early architecture in Egypt. Now, class, we have just stated a few of the effects. Now, I'm giving you an assignment. Can we get to look at the effects of early architecture in Egypt, apart from the ones that we have, we have mentioned? Go to your research book, Evolving World History and Government. Get to do more research. Get to get some of the effects. Get to get some of the impacts of early architecture in Egypt. Thank you, class, for your for your participation. But always keep in touch, LMU TV, a station where you get to watch and learn. Get in touch with us. We have got our contact address. We have got our channels there, YouTube channel. We have got our Facebook account, our Twitter account. Get in touch with us and let us watch and learn.